I am genuinely shocked at how much I like this keyboard. When this box arrived at our office, I really didn't know what to expect. To be exact, I had no expectations. I've seen Mel Geek advertised on social media, and I've kind of just like glossed over the brand while reviewing mechanical keyboards. This isn't a full review as I haven't actually had enough time with the Mojo 84 to give my full thoughts on the product, but for a hands-on experience, Mel Geek could not have made a better impression from start to finish. I rarely get caught off with an unboxing experience, and they do feel more special when this does happen in year five of Subnautics' existence than when it did in year one, as we've just opened and used so many different types of tech gadgets over the years. I can honestly say that I have never, ever seen anything quite like this mechanical keyboard. For full disclosure, Mel Geek is currently running their Kickstarter campaign to launch the Mojo 84 board to the mass market. They reached out to us and sent us a unit free of charge to review, so thank you Mel Geek for that. They'll be reading and watching our comments of this product at the exact same time as you, our audience. Whatever I mention here is uh, strictly my own thoughts on the matter, whether they are positive or not. So the minute I open the flap to the packaging... I knew this thing was going to be fun. In normal circumstances, a plastic body usually isn't something a company uses as a selling point. Metal materials typically signal a more premium premium experience. Mel Geek said, forget about convention, and plastered this is plastic right on top of the box in big bolt letters. The can't be silliness doesn't end there as when the flap is like actually opened up, the inside reads, need keyboard, not friends, and thanks for bringing me home. <laughs> this immediately showed me that Mojo 84 is not afraid to be unique and kind of out there with their culture. Mojo 84 comes with that prototypical keyboard stuff, like a switch puller and a USB-C to USB-A cable. I love that Mel Geek went the extra mile and added accent colors to the cable. This is such a simple thing to do that enhances the perception of the product greatly. Instead of a generic white or black cable, the minty green and that orange accent match the keyboard's secondary colors. The color accent continues through the actual plates of the board as the silicon mute pad is also the same minty green colorway. There's so much to look at when you first set eyes on the Mojo 84. The font on the keycaps are almost comically large. It's like when someone sets the font on their phone to 200% because their eyes are bad. Mel Geek has so many interesting phrases printed on top of these ABS double shot keycaps. The space bar repeats the this is plastic phrase from the box. The enter key says logo while the backspace key reads not for sale. Even more peculiar, the Windows key disclaims no photo. I've read through the website and Kickstarter page and still have no idea what I'm looking at. <laughs> Regardless, I do really dig it. Mel Geek sent us the white keycaps, but they also are producing a sleek black version. This setup uses hot swappable linear custom plastic switches from Kel. It's such a gentle input that I feel like I'm doing something naughty when typing here. It's like I'm a spy currently stealing data from an evil organization with guards just in the room next door, so I need to be typing really quietly. And I'm usually a guy who likes hearing loud, obnoxious clicking from my mechanical keyboards, but I can definitely get addicted to this serene sound coming off the Mojo 84. As the 84 name suggests, the Mojo 84 has 84 keys in a compact form factor. A full FN row has been added here at a slightly inclined profile. A column of orange keys with a caution strip across it are dedicated for the home, delete, page up, and page down buttons. They slide right in between that page break and right arrow key. This board also has RGB backlighting that can be customized through the KB Tools app. Mel Geek has actually provided a surprisingly user-centric opportunity to design whatever combination of colors you as users want for every single key because they all have individual RGB backlight. The light unfortunately doesn't pass through the letters on the keycaps, so I found the RGB to be kind of subtle in aesthetic value. Still, there's plenty of flexibility available throughout the board. The bare bones here is all set up for an easy customizable result. 
in what Metal Geek has dubbed Tri-Mode Connection, this board has a toggle on the top left of the frame to designate which form of connection it's on. You can connect the keyboard to a device through a 2.4G USB wireless connection, a USB-C wire connection, or a Bluetooth 5.2 connection. In fact, the Mojo 84 can swap seamlessly through a whopping 8 devices concurrently through these three methods. If you're using this unplugged, a 4,000 milliamp hour battery keeps the keyboard powered. I have to say that so far, I'm just shocked at how much value I find on the Mojo 84. It's extremely deceptive as the board is made of plastic with an MSRP of $229. If you jump on the Kickstarter wagon before it ends, its early bird special price is $179. This is a premium segment of mechanical keyboards that Mel Geek is competing in. I don't necessarily understand the mentality that I experienced sitting with this board in front of me for a few days, but I certainly was on a roller coaster of emotions. The Mojo 84 is ridiculously detail oriented and performs admirably well. There is a chock load of customization opportunities that keyboard uh, buyers in this price segment salivate over. Yet, when I pulled this keyboard out of the box, I really had no expectations for these premium functions to be on here for some reason, and that's probably due to the appearance and the catchphrase branding, this is plastic. Maybe that's what Mel Geek wanted all along, deceive buyers to pleasantly surprise them with a refined product that meets many competitors in the small details. Regardless of the reason, I'm very excited to see a product like this in the market in 2022 where it can just offset the sea of generic keyboards that populate the mechanical keyboard space. Once again, I'm Alex from the Subnautics. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned. We're going to have a lot more awesome products to review. I'll see you guys then. So the other day, I was on a Zoom call at work, and I just dropped everything I was saying, and I told them, subscribe.